you take out a five-year car loan for $15,000 at a rate of 5% with monthly payments of $284. What is the remaining balance after two years and four years? The remaining loan balance formula is shown below where the remaining balance is equal to the future value of the original balance earning compound and interest where the principal is the loan amount minus the future value of an annuity where the payment into the annuity is the loan payment. Let's begin by listing all the given information. Because the loan amount is $15,000, P, the principal, is equal to $15,000. The rate is 5% and therefore R is equal to 5%, which must be expressed as a decimal, which is 0 0.05. Next, we have monthly payments of $284. Because the payments are monthly, we assume the interest is compounded monthly, and therefore and the number of compounding periods per year is equal to 12, because there are 12 months in a year. And the monthly payments are $284, and therefore PMT in the annuity part of the formula is equal to $284. Because we want the remaining balance after two years and four years, we will first have t, time in years, equal to two, and then t equals four. And now let's evaluate the formula on the next slide. Looking at our formula, we know p is equal to 15,000, which is here. Next, we know r is equal to 0 0.05, which occurs in three locations, one, two, three, which is here, here, and here. Next, we know n is equal to 12 and occurs in five locations, one, two, three, four, and five, which in our formula is here, 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 and here. Next, we know PMT is $284, which is here. And then finally, for the remaining balance after two years, we know t is equal to two, which occurs in two locations, here and here, in our exponents, which are here and here. And now we need to evaluate this on the calculator. To begin, we enter the first expression just as it looks. We have 15,000, open parenthesis, one plus 0 0.05 divided by 12, close parenthesis, raise the power of 12 times two. We can enter 12 times two or just 24. I'm going to enter 24. If you do enter 12 times two and you have a different calculator, you would need 12 times two in parentheses to make sure the product is in the exponent. Next, we press the right arrow, minus. To help us enter the second expression here, we will use the fraction format key on the T84 by pressing alpha y equals and then enter. Notice how this gives us the fraction format. And now we enter the numerator as 284, open parenthesis, open parenthesis, one plus 0 0.05 divided by 12, close parenthesis, raised to the power of, again, 12 times two is 24, so I will enter 24 right arrow to get out of the exponent position, minus one, close parenthesis. Now I'll press the down arrow to go to the denominator, open parenthesis 0 0.05, divided by 12, close parenthesis, and enter. After two years to the nearest descent, the loan balance is $9,421.32 because we have an eight in the third decimal place, we round up to 32 cents. And now let's find the remaining balance after four years. The only change we have to make is we have to change t equals two to t equals four, which means we need to change this two to four and this two to four, which I've already done here. And now we can go ahead and evaluate this to determine the remaining balance after four years. To save time on the T84, we can press second enter, which brings up the previous entry, which we can then edit. So notice now this exponent is going to be 48, since 12 times four is 48, rather than 24, and the same thing for this exponent here. This will be 48, 
rather than 24. So using the arrows, we place the cursor over the 24s. So first we have the 24 here, and we can enter 48 over the 24 to override it. And then we have a 24 here we also have to change. Using the left arrow, we scroll to the left, and enter 48 over the 24. Again, because we have 12 times 4 rather than 12 times 2. And now we can press Enter, and it gives us the balance after four years, which the nurse sent is $3,257.20. Notice here we round down because we have a 2 in the third decimal place. So now we know the remaining balance after two years as well as after four years. Before we go though, let's take a look at this graphically. And there's two ways to look at this. One way would be to graph the future value of the original balance in blue, which I've shown here, and then graph the future value of the annuity, which I've shown graphed here in red, and then to find the remaining balance, we would subtract the two future values. So for example, at time t equals two years, the future value of the original balance earning compound interest would be the y value here, and then the future value of the related annuity would be this value here, and therefore this vertical distance represents the remaining loan balance at time t equals two years. Similarly, to find the balance of four years, we would take the future value of the original balance earning compound interest, which is this value here, the y value, minus the y value here, which is the future value of the related annuity, and therefore this vertical distance here, vertical length, represents the remaining loan balance, again after four years. Another way would be to graph the entire formula, which I've done here, where the y values or values along the vertical axis represent the declining loan balance, and because it's a five-year loan, notice after five years, the balance is zero because the loan is paid off. I hope you found this helpful.